In today's video, we're testing the power of pre-release Yu-Gi-Oh cards versus the best set in a long time. What's up guys? We have a little box battle today and normally we do the newest set versus the last set that came out, which was Phantom Nightmare. Is that what it was called? Phantom? Why does it not feel right? Whatever that set was called, I think it was Phantom Nightmare. I don't have any more of those boxes, so we're not doing that. I decided to actually be more fun to test the pre-release because this is Thursday, so none of the prices just yet are going to be accurate. They're going to change a lot tomorrow when everybody can sell on TCG Player. So the prices are like OP right now. They're super hard to beat in a box battle. So I decided to bring in the best set in probably a year, two years, three years, however long it's been to see if it could beat it with regular old prices. So can a regular Age of Overlord box beat a pre-release Legacy of Destruction? Honestly, I'm not sure. We'll have to see. Before we hop into it, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away this Prismatic Ultimate Rare. I think that's an Ice Jade card for some reason. I'm not, I don't remember what it's called. A, a Green or something? Uh, Lost Blue Beaker. Uh, that's a Secret Rare from Generation Force and Rope of Life. I have no idea where this secret came from. SD2, maybe like a starter deck or something. It's honestly a really cool looking print. And I was looking at it like, where did this come from? Because originally Phronic Guardian, it's, it comes in there, but uh, clearly some sort of other print. So very cool. This video is sponsored by Whatnot. If you haven't heard yet, Whatnot is an awesome auction platform where you can both buy and sell. I stream on there all the time, selling a lot of cards, whether it be the new sets, whether it be vintage box breaks like we did recently with the Magician's Force First Ed and Unlimited. But this week we have a new set, Legacy of Destruction coming out, and I'm going to be opening it up this Thursday at 5 p.m. Central. Now that's assuming we get all our cases and everything. Otherwise, we'll push it back a day. But for now, it's Thursday at 5 p.m. Mark your calendars. Go check out Whatnot down below. Click the link get $15 free credit once you're in there search rux 34 find my profile go to the show and then bookmark my stream so you don't forget about it it's going to be super fun we'll be opening the newest set legacy of destruction giving away some booster boxes of the new set and many many more so hope to see you guys at 5 p.m central this thursday make sure you give me a follow on whatnot for future streams there's going to be a lot of them coming up Super excited. Hope to see you there. All right, let's go. Let's get these open and we will do a little 1v1. We're going to have the scores up on the screen so you guys can see who's winning. But pre-release, I mean, here's the thing. This set is not as strong as some of the others in pre-release, but still it has pre-release prizes, $17 super, stuff like that. Age of Overlord has some crazy cards like SP Little Knight. It has the wanted stuff. I mean, it is a lot of a lot of bangers in there. So it should be a pretty interesting battle to see who can pull this off. I think it might be... A fun one. If anybody can do it, it's Age of Overlord. I haven't checked recently, but I'm pretty sure Age of Overlord boxes are like 150 bucks or something crazy like that. Like they're like double the price that they originally were. So actually a box from Yu-Gi-Oh doing well. But as soon as the reprints hit, you know, it's going to go back to 60 bucks or whatever. So unfortunately, that is going to happen. But here we go. Let's see what we can do. We're going to start the battle off. Legacy of Destruction. Yesterday was a crazy opening. We had really, really good luck. Pulled a lot of really good cards. And we're starting it off with a Ragnarok, so that is not necessarily a great card. But we have a lot left. We pulled like, I mean, we pulled insane yesterday. It was about as good as you could possibly pull. I'm hoping we can do that for the Age of Overlord as well this time. So let's try it out. Return, TG Close. We have the Guy of Prominence, Wat Kyuki. We have the Kin, the, the Warrior Dragon. That's a good one. Uh, switch point. So we're starting it off two supers in a row. Nothing too crazy. 48 packs will be open in this video, so... Sit back, relax, enjoy it. We have the Mick Retrain and Goblin Biker. Troika Gryar. Okay, all right. Moment to land. The fusion. I cannot speak. First Dead Age of Overlord. Can we pull something crazy like SP Little Knight QCR? Would be really nice. Synchro Rumble. Uh, Yeah, that'd be crazy. Wanted Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. QCR also really big. Not as big. Not nearly as big, but still very big. Like 200 something bucks. We have the... Sengapai Transcendent Dragon. We've pulled that multiple times. Tenpai Dragon, give us that $17 super later, please. Age of Overlord, I don't think has a big super. So compared to that, they uh, they have the advantage. We have Burning Dragon. Very cool. Rose Papillon. So far, literally all supers. So it's a, uh, a slow start. Saving a lot of big pulls for the end. Let's see what we can do here. Snake Eyes, Diabell Star. Okay, that's a nice one. I know Rhyme Style was telling me he wanted some of those, so... Uh, Rhyme, there you go. I got you, buddy. I got you. There you go. Uh, Snake Eyes Diabell start. The big one is, oh, what's it called? It's Diabell, Diabells? Just Diabells, I think is what it's called. Uh, we pulled two of them yesterday. I'm already forgetting what the name is. I think it's just called something Diabells. So we're, as of right now, they're up. I mean, we should pull the same number of foils. It's really all about how good the foils are. Is Snake Eye Diabell Star a good one? I would guess it's pretty decent. <sighs> 
Silent Magician Zero. Speaking of rhyme style, he would love this one. Silent Magician Zero. I mean, that is really, really awesome. Very cool. All right, Rhyme. You're, I'm pulling some good stuff for you right now, okay? You're doing pretty good. S Silent Magician stuff. I'm sure he'll play it in his Master Duel videos. Which, don't worry. I mean, uh, one day he will let me uh, battle him on Master Duel on his channel. It's going to happen eventually. I'm just going to have to annoy him. Just keep annoying him. Hey, hey, let's do some draft. Just got to keep asking. Eventually, so that he'll see this on this video. And then he'll be like, oh, yeah. And then he'll forget again. And then I'll remind him again. You know, that's how we'll do it. Eventually, we'll get on there. All right, we have uh, Transcendosaurus. We're going to play some GOAT format. All right, Realm uh, yel Yelogy and Eulogy. There's no you there. All right, all right, all right. Keep going. Keep searching. Keep opening. Can we pull something big? Let's go. We have the uh, ties that bind. Oh, okay. That's that's oh, that's a a dual links. Uh, what's it called? Skill. Yeah, ties that bind. That's the one that you get powered up by a hundred for every monster in your field, so you can be up to plus three hundred attack. Yeah, I think that's a Yugi. It's a Yugi ability. It makes sense because you know there's a whole Yugi themed archetype in here. A scapegoat, awesome. Uh, Divine Temple of the Snake Eye. A scapegoat, is that a new card? Why do I feel like we already had that? Divine Temple of the Snake Eye, so more Snake Eye stuff. Oh, I know why, because we just opened a Age of Overlord. It's not a new card, makes sense. Okay, I was like, that That seems like I've seen that before. That's because that set is, you know, six months old at this point. Okay, so I've definitely seen it many times. Okay, Centurion, we have Dandy White Lion, another a White Lord, a very cool, Tempai Dragon Tundra, send some log. By the way, tonight, guys, if you did not remember, tonight we are opening uh, Snake Eye Birch. We are opening more of this set live on Whatnot. Go check out Whatnot, link in the description, $15 free credit if you use my link. And uh, make sure you search my show, go to Ruxin34, my profile bookmark it it's down at 5 p.m central it's gonna be super fun we're gonna have not just legacy of destruction but some other stuff as well so there should be a lot of fun a lot of good pulls uh hoping we do pretty well so people get some awesome stuff fire recovery so go check that out live tonight on whatnot it's gonna be super fun it's always a good time whatnot streams are always a blast here we go we have and so uh make sure you come on out we have shaman shaman of the ashen city shaman okay cyclos ancient gear tanker still searching qcr SP Little Knights. I don't know. Uh, we got a QCR. Okay. Okay. Nobody panic. Nobody panic. It could be the SP Little Knight. Could be wanted Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. <sighs> 84 below. There's a lot of there's a lot of them. There's 25 different cards that are QCRs or something like that. Send me the luck right now. SP Little Knight. <sighs> Let's do this. Wad Kingdom. Sharv Sarga. Sweet Roommate. Look at Sam Sarah. We have Ken, the Warrior Dragon. We saw a little shine. We know there's something back there. You can see it when you flash in the light. The Scordants, come on. <sighs> Is it next? No, there's one more. No Rux and Special. Come on. We want to see the Link Monster. Please, baby. Let's go. Age of Overlord. Oh, no. It could be Wanted. Oh, yes! Wanted Seeker of the Sinful Spoils! That is a big one! Oh my goodness! The quarter century secret rare! And that is how you beat pre-release prices right there. You pull a $200 plus dollar card. Oh my goodness! What a pull! That is huge. Was that their first? I think that was their first pull out of Age of Overlord. No, one, no we had one Snake Eye card. Literally one ultra and then that. Oh my goodness, what an opening. Woo, okay, okay. That's one of the few cards that'll make your money back on Age of Overlord these days because it costs so much, like 150 bucks. Fortunately, I still had a couple boxes left and that was sitting in there, which is pretty amazing. Wow, that is insane. Okay, now we just hope for an SP Little Knight. We hope for another Wanted and not QCR. I mean, that would be huge. Okay, let's keep going. We have Asset Mountis and Xyz Armor Fortress. Okay, you're going to need something big like a Sea of Destruction. You're going to need uh, like your best QCR to even be close. Like the best QCR doesn't even equal that, and that's at pre-release prices. Fishborg Harpooner. Wow, I cannot believe we just got that. That is nuts. Not the SP, but literally the second best card. I'm pretty sure unless something crazy's happened, that sh should still be the second best card. Snake Eyes Oak, all right. Age of Overlord continuing to do its thing. We got the, uh, the, uh, Shelter, the Shelter of Yu-Gi-Oh. I was about to say Clam Pearl, which I guess is kind of similar. These, uh, something about these Legacy Destruction packs, they feel really well packaged, which is unusual for new packs, so that's pretty cool. Like, it's, like, kind of hard, not hard to open, but they feel solid. Like, some of these newer ones, like, other newer ones, you try to rip them, and they just kind of disintegrate. It's not doing that of Legacy of Destruction, which is cool. 
Uh, Tastina, the divinity that defies darkness. That is the absolute worst QCR you can get. Glad we didn't get that one. Yeah, like everything about it, like they're super solid. Like they feel more like uh, other TCG packs. Maybe like, uh, I'm trying to think. Of, I think Pokemon's usually pretty good, but it's like, oh, more Marshmallow on. You gotta put those aside. What, uh, what set, what, or what uh, card game was I opening? It was probably, I guess it had to be like One Piece or something where it's like, it feels like you can barely open them because they're so well packaged. Okay, Age of Overlord, continue to do your thing. Ooh. Blessings of Horus, not the good one, actually. So not crazy in terms of the secret. That's okay. That's okay. We got a good QCR. We are doing pretty well on the QCRs. Let's see what Legacy of Destruction can do to make a comeback. An ultra rare. Oh, Saphir, Divine Dragon, the voiceless voice. This is the second best or third best QCR, I think, or fourth, something like that, in the set. So it's normally an ultra, I guess. So that's a pretty good ultra, I would, I would assume. Voiceless voice stuff. I think overall a pretty decent archetype from what I've heard. Age of Overlord, what can you do for us? We have seed spinning saplings. Can we get some supers over here that are $17? That'd be nice. Age of Overlord, continuing what you do, which is pull good cards. Not that time, but you will. Guy Prominence, the Fierce Knight. Back to Legacy of Destruction. Legacy of Destruction. All right, Centurion Gargoyle. We have another, how many Ultras have we pulled? Vados, the Dragon of the Endless Darkness. I feel like we pulled so many Ultras. That is a really awesome artwork. Look at that. Hopefully that has a QCR. That is a sweet looking card. Okay, it's a Pyro monster as well. Very cool. Age, age, age. Can you give us one more big one? The SP Little Knight. We have TG Glave Bella Laster. We are pulling a lot of bad cards. Outside of that QCR, this is a really bad box for Age of Overlord. So, I mean, that, that big one obviously made up for it, but thank goodness we got it because otherwise it'd be rough simultaneous and a multi-universe that's more than one universe you overlord come on come on give us one big secret that'd be big that'd be huge okay the the noi noi or whatever you want to call that origami goddess watch out down to i mean we're down about a quarter of the opening left something like that the Aza, the Sinful Spoils, the Ragnar Rika, and 10 by Dragon Pedra. Okay. They're trying to make a run. They're trying to make a comeback. $17 card will definitely help. That's a big, big, super rare. We'll take it. Age of Overlord up next. Come on. Age of Overlord. Kin. We have Earthbound Servant. TG All Clear. Super rare. Return of the Tistina. And Shinobara Shade, Peacock. Back to Legacy of Destruction. What shall we pull? Ragnarok, we have another, we have Jungle Dweller and Blessing of the Voiceless Voice, Ragnarok. Gruesome Grave Squirmer Haggard and Chundra. Still a lot of packs left, and by a lot, I mean a few, you know, not a crazy amount. Uh, Shino Baron, Nimlaria, Cursed Bride Doll, Starry Night Dragon Cycle, The Invasion Alien Species, and Rose Papillon. Okay, oh wait, wrong one. We're supposed to do Legacy of Destruction here. Legacy of Destruction, you're gonna need something big, like big time. Like you need something to come back. We have the Melodious, Turn Silence. That's not gonna do it. I mean, none of that is gonna help you too much. Age of Overlord could still extend their lead with an SP Little Knight right here, which would be pretty amazing. Secret rare. This is the box. Two massive pulls from Age of Overlord, SP Little Knight, and the QCR wanted Seeker of the Sinful Spoils. That is how you defeat pre release prices right there. It's going to be tough to come back from that. All right, that is insane. Legacy of Destruction, you need something big. By the way, if you guys want to get Legacy of Destruction, or Rarity Collection, check out my pre-release uh, order down below. You can get those with Sassy Auto 5% off using my code. It's an affiliate link. Go check it out. We have another super rare. Uh, go check those out if you want to support the channel. Uh, also, we have Whatnot tonight. I've already said that. Saturday, we're going to be doing a live stream opening up more Legacy of Destruction as well. So make sure you come hang out on YouTube. It's going to be super fun. Full Armor Drawer. Full Armor Dark Knight Lancer. So there's going to be a lot of packs open that day. Haven't done that in a while because there hasn't been a new set, so... Uh, should be super fun. I somehow got one pack off, it looks like. Uh, so make sure you're here for that, guys. I want to see you guys there in the live chat. It's going to be really fun. Saturday, probably going to start around noon, something like that. Noon Central. So come hang out for that stream. we got a lot of streams coming up, a lot of stuff. 
going on on the channel. So make sure you guys come hang out. It's going to be super fun. Age of Overlord, two packs left, two more Legacy of Destruction. Been a fun video. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already. We have a lot of awesome stuff coming up. We are almost at 250K. I mean, kind of almost like, you know, 19.5 away. So we're getting there. We are getting to 250. It's going to be a while, but if you guys hit that subscribe button, it'll be a little bit less than a while. You guys can speed it up a little bit. Nothing in that one. Okay. Two packs left. Age of Overlord. You've been pretty insane so far. I mean, absolutely crazy. We got Exceed the Pendulum, Super Rare, Card Scanner. I mean, oh my gosh. Last pack magic, guys. Make sure, don't forget to subscribe. Go check out Ruxin34.com as well if you haven't already. There's a lot of amazing stuff. I added a few new sealed items as well. So if you haven't seen those yet, go see if you want them. Legacy Destruction, first edition, last pack magic. And don't forget to come see me tonight at 5 p.m. Central on whatnot. Can't wait to see you guys. White Lord, we at, and we're going to pull more amazing stuff. Hopefully better than this box of Legacy that we've had today. It's been pretty rough. Gargoyle, we have Zoma. We have Mick, and we have... Oh, a Nightmare Apprentice. That's actually a really good one. Not good enough to come back, but it's a good one. So, okay. That turned out to be pretty insane. What a battle. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Puffin Sudum, Ernesto Dan, America Deutscher, KK Beats, Nutter Sai Show, Ian Booster, Junior Barning, Robert F., Thomas McLean, Chang Lang, and Aldelso Galicia Jr. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.